This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater. And after seeing this short, I'm reminded of what I'm missing out on had I been stuck in a different kind of theater. Louise is a short French animated drama from 2021 directed by uh, five people. Constance Berteau, Camille Bozac, Pauline Malvier, Pauline Guiton, and Mila Monaghan. Set in 1895, it takes place at the reception, party, gala, soiree, or whatever, after a successful ballet performance, following the titular Louise and a few other dancers as they mingle with the wealthy jet set of French society. When Louise is reminded that she owes another dancer some money, she has to hurry to find a way to pay up, leading to an exploration of sorts about what exactly occurs at these events. There's not quite enough story to be a complete narrative, nor is there enough character explored to be a fuller study. It's a relatively steady mix of both, ultimately being more atmospheric than anything even if it is a busier sort of atmosphere. The balancing act does come with some drawbacks, though, as the story and its outcome lean a bit too much on foreshadowing, and its direction becomes a bit predictable. Characterization also feels a bit undeveloped, if not non-existent. There's an arc, some motivation, and even a chunk of subtext, but nothing really happens in a natural manner nor does it progress in a significant manner. Even so, what we get is enjoyable, and certainly paints a sympathetic look at the characters, but it feels a bit more like the first part of a larger story, even if it is pretty complete in itself, uh, ending right when you've come to understand this world and are ready for the larger story to take off. It even introduces some thematic ideas of the treatment of women in these times, though obviously it's nothing explored all that much. If anything, this short serves more as an animation exercise, though it at least makes use of that idea pretty well. Visually, it manages to hit a cross between a stylistic approach and realism, being reflective of art movements which I assume were popular at the time. I'm not an art history major, so I wouldn't know for sure. Anyways, it makes a nice use of bright and pale color palettes while contrasting them with harsh shadows and deep blues and blacks, serving thematic purposes while looking pretty in general. The animated cinematography allows for some improbable angles and shot composition, but it mostly chooses to stay grounded to realistic positioning, adding to the viewer's own immersion within the scenes. Audio also remains pretty natural, and rather impressively if I might say so. The whole world is developed pretty well. And from what we get in here, it's a world worth exploring with characters worth following. But because it stops short, it only hurts itself for all of that. Louise, Constance Bertel, Camille Bozek, Pauline Mavier, Pauline Guiton, Mila Monaghan, 2021. Three stars. I'd say it's still worth seeing, even if it cuts out too soon for my tastes. I'd put it between La Neige in Satan and The Beauty President on my list of shorts from that year. <laughs> That's it for me. If you like this review, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. Uh, now, I'm not saying that I'd expect to uh, commiserate with anybody who performs in a haunted ballet. They'd be ghosts, after all. But it would be nice to change things up around here, you know?